Hello, everyone. My name is Samuel Anderson, a systems engineer at Cisco Meraki. Today, we'll be walking through the initial setup of your new MS390 cloud managed switch. To start, we'll take a look at the initial dashboard setup. Then we'll configure your upstream firewall. After that, we'll verify the MS390 is set to upgrade to the latest firmware. Lastly, we'll do some basic setup and verify the configuration. Jumping right in, let's take a look at setting up a network and claiming your devices. When logging into Dashboard for the first time, you'll see this screen. I'll click Register Meraki Devices to proceed. I already added the serial numbers for my MS390s, so I'll create a new network named Hong Kong and add them to it. With my new network created, let's take a look at configuring the upstream firewall. For users with a non-Meraki firewall upstream, you may need to allow specific outbound connectivity to allow the switches to connect to dashboard. I can see the details of this by clicking help in the upper right hand corner and then clicking firewall info. After the firewall has been configured, Let's verify that our MS390s are on track to download the latest firmware. On the left-hand sidebar, I'll hover over Switch, and then under the Monitor section, I'll click Switches. Since I haven't named my switches yet, the screen will show the switches by MAC address. In addition to showing us switches in a network and the default details like connectivity and model, we can click on the wrench icon in the upper right hand corner to show us firmware version 2. The MS390s display MS12.17. As of June 29, 2020, the recommended firmware version for MS390 is 12.17. To verify that you're on the latest firmware, please check out our MS390 deployment guide on Meraki documentation or contact Meraki support. Now that we've verified the MS390s will upgrade to the latest firmware on boot, let's start the initial switch setup. Before plugging in your switches, there are a few things to consider. For the fastest upgrade experience, please connect an uplink to each switch. By default, the switches will scan VLANs 1 through 1000 and get the first IP address available. My upstream firewall is configured simply to use the native VLAN of 1 on its interfaces. If you require a VLAN outside of this range, please use the local management page on your MS390 to configure the port. Once my uplinks are configured and I've ensured that there's no VLAN mismatch, it's time to plug in the switches. Connect the power cables and the MS390s will begin to boot up. Like all Meraki switches, the MS390 has a multicolored LED indicating the state of the switch. Switches start out with a solid amber light, switching to alternating colors while booting. When online, the switch LED will be a solid white. Since our switches will upgrade their firmware, the LED will be in a flashing white state. When the LED returns to solid white, we know that we're good to go. Now that our switches have finished the upgrade, Let's refresh the switch page. As you can see, all switches are marked as online, indicated by the green circle on the left-hand side. I'll click into the MS390 24UX to see additional information and start my configuration. Congratulations. You've completed your setup for the, your new MS390 cloud managed switch. From Cisco Meraki, thanks for joining us. For MS390 deployment best practices, Please visit us at meraki.cisco.com forward slash MS390 deployment. And for more information around how to stack your MS390s, please refer to my stacking video.